Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we have this patchwork crochet cardigan. I'm sure we've all seen the Harry Styles cardigan that's been going around. This is inspired by that. But I wanted mine a little bit more, I wanted more texture in mine. So this is what I came up with. So if you want to follow along with this tutorial, please keep watching. Don't forget that the free written pattern is on my blog, crochetwithcarry.com. So to make this cardigan, you will need a weight five bulky yarn and a six millimeter crochet hook. In this tutorial, I make a size small to medium. For all other sizes, check out my blog, crochetwithcarry.com. So this is the yarn I used. On the label, it says it's an iron weight, but in my opinion, it's definitely a bulky weight yarn, a weight five. So just keep that in mind if you are purchasing a different yarn, go for a weight 5 bulky yarn. So this cardigan is comprised of a whole bunch of squares that are all sewn together and there's different textured squares. So the first set of squares we're going to make are just the regular rows of half double crochet. So we're going to begin by chaining 14. And then into the second chain from the hook, we're going to place one half double crochet. And then we're going to half double crochet into each, each chain to the end. At the end of the row chain one and then turn your work and then half double crochet into each chain all the way across and repeat this row until your square has a height of about five inches and once you have five inches in height you're going to fasten off and you're going to make a total of 21 squares of half double crochet Now we're going to move on to our next set of squares. This stitch is called the griddle stitch, I think. So we're going to begin by chaining 14, single crochet into the second chain from the hook, then double crochet into, into the next stitch. And you're going to alternate between a single crochet and then a double crochet. So repeat that all the way across until you reach the end of the row. The last stitch you made at the end of this row should be a single crochet. So for the next row we're going to chain three. This chain three counts as your first double crochet. Turn your work. Then we're going to single crochet into the next stitch. Then we're going to double crochet into the next and we're going to alternate between a single crochet and a double crochet all the way across. Your last stitch at the end of this row should be a double crochet. So you're going to repeat those two rows until your square measures five inches. So your next row will be chain one, turn your work, single crochet into the first stitch, then double crochet into the next, and repeat that all the way across, single crochet and then double crochet all the way across. At the end of this row, 
you should end with a single crochet. And then at the end of this row we're going to chain three, turn our work and then single crochet and then double crochet all the way across. So repeat those two rows until your square measures five inches. And then you're going to do a total of 13 squares in this stitch. Our next set of squares is going to be the berry stitch. So we're going to begin by chaining 14 single crochet into the second chain from the hook and then single crochet into each chain all the way across. At the end of the row we're going to chain one and then turn our work. Into that very first stitch we're going to place one single crochet. Then we're going to bury stitch into the next stitch so insert your hook pull your yarn through, yarn over, pull through that first loop, yarn over, pull through that loop again, yarn over and pull through that loop once more. So you've made a chain three. Then yarn over and pull through two loops. Then we're going to single crochet into the next stitch and we're going to repeat that we're going to make a berry stitch into the next stitch. So insert your hook, pull your yarn through, yarn over, pull through that first loop, yarn over, pull through that loop again, yarn over and pull through that loop once more, then yarn over, pull through two, and then single crochet into the next stitch. So we're going to repeat that all the way across. And this is how we finish off this row. We have two stitches remaining, so we're going to bury stitch into that next stitch. And then into the last stitch, we're going to place one single crochet. At the end of the row, chain one and then turn your work. And then place one single crochet into each stitch all the way across. For the next row, chain one and then turn your work and then we're going to bury stitch into that very first stitch. So insert your hook, pull your yarn through, yarn over, pull through that first loop, yarn over, pull through that same loop and then yarn over, pull through that loop once more, then yarn over and pull through two. Then single crochet into the next stitch. Then bury stitch into the next. and then single crochet into the next stitch and repeat that all the way across. So here I am at the end of the row. I've just completed my berry stitch and I have two stitches remaining. So I'm going to place one single crochet into each of these two stitches. Then chain one, turn our work and then single crochet into each stitch all the way across.
So we're going to repeat those four rows over and over again until our square measures five inches. So our next row will be chain one, turn your work, single crochet into that very first stitch, then bury stitch into the next, then single crochet into the next, and then bury stitch into the next. So repeat that all the way across until you reach the end of the row. Then your next row is going to be a row of single crochet. The row after that we're going to chain one, turn our work and then bury stitch into that very first stitch, then single crochet, then bury stitch and then single crochet all the way across. At the end of that row you're going to be left with two stitches so you're going to single crochet into those last two stitches. And then after that row you're going to do your row of single crochet. So repeat those four rows over and over again until your square measures five inches in height. And you're going to make a total of seven squares in the berry stitch. Now moving on to our next square we're going to do a basket weave stitch. So we're going to begin by chaining 17 then double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook and then double crochet into each stitch all the way to the end. At the end of the row we're going to chain two, this counts as our first half double crochet. Then we're going to front post double crochet around the next stitch, so yarn over, insert your hook around that post, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, then yarn over and pull through two. Then you're going to front post double crochet around the next stitch. So now we're going to back post double crochet around the next three stitches. So yarn over, bring your hook from behind and wrap it around that next stitch. Then pull your yarn through, then yarn over, pull through two, then yarn over, pull through two. And then back post double crochet around the next stitch. And then back post double crochet around the next. So altogether you have three back post double crochets completed. Now you're going to front post double crochet around the next three stitches. Then you're going to back post double crochet around the next three stitches. Then you're going to front post double crochet around the next two stitches. And finally you're going to place one half double crochet on top of that chain three.
So from here on, every row is the exact same. You're going to begin by chaining two. This counts as your first half double crochet. Turn your work. Then you're going to do two front post double crochet. Then you're going to do three back post double crochet. So you're basically going to be doing the opposite to what you see. Here now we can see that there's three front post double crochets, but we're going to do the opposite to that. We're going to do three back post double crochets. This gives us that basket weave kind of texture. So next we can see that there's three back post stitches, so we're going to place three front post double crochets. Next we're going to place three back post double crochets. And then next we're going to place two front post double crochets. And then we're going to finish off the row by placing one half double crochet on top of that chain two. So you're going to repeat that row over and over again until your square measures 5 inches in height. You might have to give it a bit of a stretch. So your next row is going to be chain 2, then turn your work. You're going to make 2 front post double crochet. Then you're going to make 3 back post double crochet. Then 3 front post double crochet. 3 back post double crochet then two front post double crochet and then you're going to finish off with a half double crochet on top of that chain two. So repeat that row over and over again until it measures five inches in height and you're going to do a total of 13 squares in this stitch. So once you have all your squares finished we're going to start off with our back panel so for the back panel you're going to need seven half double crochet squares, five griddle squares, three berry stitch squares and five basket weave squares. And you're going to lay them out any way you like, any sequence you want. Just make sure that you have five across and four up. And then with your yarn needle and some of your yarn, you're going to stitch all these squares together so you end up with one big square. Now to make the front panels, you're going to need six half double crochet squares, four griddle, two berry stitches and four basket weaves. This is what your front panels will look like. You're going to have two squares across and four up. So four in length and two across. And lay out your squares any way you like. Thank you. 
Then you're going to stitch your squares together. So now you have two front panels that should look like this. For the sleeves, you need eight half double crochet squares, four griddle, two bobble and four basket weave. Your sleeves should be three up and three across. Then of course you're going to sew your squares together. So you have a square that looks like this. You're going to make two of them. So each sleeve is going to be three across and three up. Now you're going to lay your back panel on a hard surface with the right side facing up. Then you're going to grab your front panels and lay them on top with the wrong side facing up. So with your yarn needle we're going to sew across the top here at the shoulders on each side. they're sewn together we're going to lay our piece out completely flat like so with the wrong side facing up. Then we're going to grab a sleeve and we're going to mark the center stitch with a stitch marker. Then we're going to line that stitch marker up with our shoulder seam. This is our shoulder seam right here and we're going to connect. Once that's connected we're going to use our yarn needle and we're going to sew all the way across connecting our sleeve to our cardigan and then you're going to repeat on the other side with the other sleeve. Once that's done we're going to fold over our cardigan and we're going to sew along the edges all the way down our sleeve and down the side. Do the same on the other side. Next I made a ribbed edge for the bottom. All I did was I chained 11, I single crocheted into the second chain from the hook and then all the way across. At the end I chained one, I single crocheted into the back loop of every stitch. I repeated that row until this ribbed hem was long enough to go around the entire bottom edge of the cardigan. So it's going from the front all the way around the back and then all the way around the other front panel. I did the same for the sleeves. I chained 11. I single crocheted in the back loop only until the cuff measured about 10 to 11 inches. I made two of them for each sleeve. So I sewed the ribbed hem to the bottom edge of the cardigan. I did the same for the sleeve. You might have to kind of cinch your sleeve in to fit it around this ribbed cuff. For the collar I chained about 22, I single crocheted into the second chain from the hook and then I single crocheted into each chain all the way to the end. At the end of the row I chained one, I turned my work and then I worked into the back loop of every stitch. I placed one single crochet. So work one single crochet into each stitch working into the back loop only. I repeated that row for a total of 64 rows. If you want your collar longer, add more rows here. Once I had that done, I fastened off. I left a very, a very long tail and then I sewed it around the neckline of the cardigan. Then I made a long chain that reached from here all the way down to the bottom of your cardigan. I half double crocheted into the second chain from the hook and then I half double crocheted to the end. I did that for five rows. Now I'm going to show you how to do the other side. For the other side, that's the buttonhole side, I chained the same number of stitches as the other side. I 
I half double crocheted into the second chain from the hook and then I half double crocheted into each stitch all the way to the end. I did a total of three rows of half double crochet before I started my buttonholes. For my buttonholes I marked off three places where I wanted the buttonholes to be. It's up to you where you want yours to be. So for the next row I chained one, I turned my work, I half double crocheted until I reached that first stitch marker. When I reached my first stitch marker, I took it out and then I chained one. So make one chain. I skipped the next stitch and then I half double crocheted into the next. And then I half double crocheted into each stitch. See, there's my first buttonhole. So half double crochet into each stitch until you reach your next buttonhole. When you reach your second stitch marker, you're going to do your buttonhole just like before. You're going to take out your stitch marker, chain one, skip the next stitch and then half double crochet into the next stitch. And then you're going to place one half double crochet into each stitch until you reach the next in, until you reach the next stitch marker. When you reach that stitch marker, do like you did before. You're going to chain one, skip that stitch, and then half double crochet into each stitch until you reach the end. So now we have our three buttonholes. So next we're going to chain one, turn our work. And then we're going to half double crochet into each stitch all the way to the end. When you reach your buttonhole, just place one half double crochet into that hole. So continue with your half double crochet into every stitch and to every buttonhole all the way to the very end. When you reach the end, we're going to fasten off. We're going to leave a very long tail so that we can sew that onto the edge of our cardigan. So go ahead and sew this piece onto the edge of your cardigan and sew the other piece on the other side to your cardigan. So once you have your two strips sewn to the edge of your cardigan, it should look like this. So go ahead and add your buttons and that's it. That's your cardigan finished. You can weave in any ends you have and that's it. That's your cardigan finished. Don't forget the free written pattern will be on my blog crochetwithcarry.com. So until next time, take care.